right, welcome back, guys. Hey, um, what I got today for you is I want to um, show you my um, Blue Ox Street Machine Group Build Final. Okay, so I finished off the car. Um, the name of the car is Canned Heat, and that's because I got a decal from a buddy of mine, Johan, over in Sweden, um, who built this uh, 57 Chevy Nomad, and he made these really cool looking canned heat decals for it. And um, I asked him about it one day and he said, hey, I have a few more, I'll send you a couple and uh, you can use it on your car and he did. So, uh, but I wanna show you his Nomad because um, I was pretty impressed when I saw this car. Um, I just think it's the coolest uh, 70s style Nomad um, built up that I've seen in a long time. It's got all the 70s stuff, it's got the big fat uh, letter tires. It's got the uh, slotted mags. Of course, it's got the velocity stack sticking out of it and the uh, yellow Lakewood traction bars and uh, Just has that that right look if you look up here in the hood canned heat That's the uh, decal that I saw and uh, he was nice enough to give me a Feel of them and I put them on my uh, Camaro build um, The flame job is awesome. I like everything about this car got a nicely detailed motor in it and uh, from the back view it just looks right you know those big fat um, 70 style uh, leather tires on it with the uh, deep uh, slotted mags I think it's just a really cool build and I wanted to share it with you guys and of course it's got the California license plate which is uh, something I like but um, okay, I just wanted to show that and share it with you. I'm going to show you my uh, Blue Ox uh, vinyl now. And there it is. That's the, uh, the uh, AMT 1970 and a half Camaro. Um, yeah, uh, Jason over at Blue Ox decided to have a group build and uh, he did a street machines. And um, I'm very cool or very into uh, 70 style street machines and I thought man that's a perfect one for me to get into so I did and I had this kit sitting up on the shelf and I thought you know what I think that's the time to build this kit um, now I wanted the uh, the uh, fat tires and I found them through this company here plastic performance products I picked these up at a uh, one of the kit shows, and uh, for seven bucks, I bought a you know I bought a few a few pairs or sets of them. They also had the um, slotted mags that fit these tires, and uh, they worked out perfect. I used a Slicks decal for the uh, Goodyear, and uh, Goodyear um, just looks right on there with me. It's just white on white. Um, it's also got the uh, the liquid traction bars underneath it. It's got the uh, side pipes that uh, a lot of 70s cars had. The USA number one license plate on the front of it. It's got a pearl white paint job with uh, candy blue, two different candy blues, I should say, Oriental and uh, Cobalt. And um, then it's got, you know, a few coats of uh, urethane clear on it. I don't know if I can really get inside it much but um, yeah, it's a nice little car. If you ever build one of these things, man, to get the chassis and the interior tub back up in the body after this thing is glued together, um, it can be a real bear. So uh, luckily for me, I only had to slide it in there one time. I was so afraid that I was gonna crack these flares I put on here. But um, luckily for me, they, they, they were strong enough to hold, hold through it and they didn't crack or do anything. Um, because of the big fat tires, I had to flare it, as you can see right in there. And, uh, you know, I motored it into the front spoiler. Yeah, just a really cool little car. It's got the can heat from, uh, Johan. And, uh, you know, Chevrolet, uh, license plate on the back. And I just think it's a nice little clean build. I, um... Didn't do much detail to the motor. I uh, built the motor pretty much uh, stock, um, box stock, I should say. 454, it's got the headers that, that connect down here to the, the pipes. Now I did have a problem with one of these pipes 
it was hanging and it would not line up with this show pipe. So what I ended up doing, if you can see that little white, right in there, I uh, drilled a hole through the pipe into the frame and then I, uh, I stuck a pin in there, a uh, plastic uh, rod and then glued it down so it would hold it in there. Otherwise, this, this pipe was wanting to uh, dangle down and uh, would not connect to the uh, side pipe. But um, anyways, it's a nice kit, AMT. It's the first time I ever built one. I might build another. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do this style again. I might do something else with it, but it's a really neat looking car. I love these early 70s Camaros. I think they're the coolest. The uh, split front bumpers on them. Um, yeah, I just think they're neat. So, but anyways, just wanted to share it with you guys. So you got to see the uh, final for uh, Jason, uh, Blue Ox Model Shop for his channel over there. Uh, let's slide that hood back on. And uh, yeah, and that's it, you guys. So if you like this kind of stuff, give me a like. Uh, leave me a comment if you would. And um, definitely hit that like button. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, thanks.